North Carolina gets over 200 days of sun every year, making it a wonderful state to go solar in. However, how do those solar panels perform in stormy weather? We all know what you know, high winds, hail, heavy rain or snow can do to our homes. So how do those solar panels perform in this type of weather? Well, let's jump in and find out. So let's start with snow. Outside of a few mountainous areas, most of North Carolina doesn't see any significant snow accumulation that would have an effect on your solar panels. And even when snow does get on there, it's typically such a light amount that the wind will blow it off or it's gonna melt within a day or two, causing very little production loss for your solar. The other great news about snow is that when we design a solar system and give you a production number for how much solar you're gonna make during the year, we're accounting for days when you're not gonna make solar, like snow days. So even if you do lose a little production, it's already been built in to how much solar you should be producing. Let's also talk about hail. Solar panels are engineered to withstand damage from one inch hail, which is about the size of a quarter. And that's much larger than the majority of hail we see. So hail damage is not really something that you're gonna to have to worry about. What about wind damage? Because your solar panels do set a few inches off of your roof, there is area for wind to come underneath those panels and create uplift. But building codes have taken that into account. So as we design and permit your solar system, we're required to install an appropriate amount of secure feet to your roof to ensure that wherever you are, it meets the appropriate building code. And as you move across the state, those codes can vary, but typically it ranges between 100 and 150 mile per hour winds that your solar system is rated to withstand. What we like to say is, if your roof is still there, your solar panels are gonna be right there with it. But what do you do if you suspect you do have damage related to a storm? Well, first of all, call your solar installer. If that's Southern Energy Management, we'll be happy to take a look and let you know if that is a claim that can be solved through warranty process through us, or if that's something you need to reach out to your insurance company on. And that leads me to the next thing everyone's gonna to wanna to do, which is call your homeowner's insurance. Your solar system is covered under your homeowner's insurance policy. So any damage that's not warranty related can be paid for through your homeowner's policy. And the good news is that the racking systems we use make it easy to pull those panels off the roof for replacement or repair. Another thing you can do if you think you have damage following a storm is to check your solar monitoring. All the systems we install have monitoring through the Solar Edge app or the Tesla Powerwall app or the Span Smart Panel app. So you can log in and you can see if there are any issues going on with your solar that maybe you couldn't see just by looking at it. And if that's the case, reach out to your solar installer and we'll be happy to give you tips on what the best direction is to get those panels back up and running. Weather is certainly an unknown, but as we've seen, it's not a big factor to worry about when going solar because solar systems are designed and installed to withstand the elements that we have here in North Carolina. If you still have any questions, we'd be happy to answer those. Drop them in the comments below or reach out to us. Otherwise, thanks for joining us again. We'll see you next time.